in this video, we're going to install the Innovative Lighting Solutions Garage Door Lighting System. Now this system solves the unique problem of shadows being cast from your garage door when it's open. So we're going to mount LED light strips to the inside of our garage door and only when the door is open, the lights will turn on. Now there's four super bright daylight balanced LED strips in this box that will give us about 14,400 lumen of light or the equivalent of about 1860 watt light bulbs and it mounts to the inside of a wood, insulated or non-insulated metal sectional garage door, just like this one. So we're gonna go through step-by-step -step of how to install this lighting system to improve and brighten your garage. So all the hardware we're gonna need comes inside this box, and we'll just need a few tools to get the job done. So we're gonna need a 5 16 and a 7 16 wrencher socket, scissors, a Sharpie, a drill, a 1 8 and 1 quarter inch drill bit, acetone or rubbing alcohol, paper towels, a step ladder, and a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. So the first thing we're gonna do is mount this black braided wiring harness to the right-hand side of our garage door. And if you'll notice on the wiring harness, all of the plugs are the same except for the end has a red and black couple wires sticking out. Those are gonna end up at the top. To mount this wiring harness, we're gonna use the black plastic clips, our zip ties, and our socket wrench. We're gonna take the socket wrench and loosen the top and bottom of each of the brackets as we work our way down. We're gonna loosen them just enough to take this black plastic clip to slide it between the door and the bolt. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to read the writing, that means it's facing the right way. Tighten it back up. Then we're gonna take our actual wiring harness, it's gonna slide into this groove, and then we're gonna use these two holes on either side to zip tie it into place. This step is really crucial because we wanna make sure that our double-sided tape sticks really well to our garage door. So I'm gonna take acetone because I have a metal garage door. And if you have a wooden garage door, we'd recommend using something like alcohol because it won't strip the paint or ruin the finish. We're gonna go ahead and clean right where the break is. I'm gonna clean just above it in this section. It's where I'm gonna mount my LED strips. So I'm gonna take my acetone, I'm gonna get clean and I'm gonna work my way down the line. Now we're ready for double-sided tape. We're gonna work along the same line that we just cleaned. We're gonna remove the paper backing on the LED strip and the paper backing on our double-sided tape. We're gonna start with this black plug on the LEDs and we're gonna leave that over here towards our black wiring harness because that's where they're gonna plug in and we're gonna work our way along. So I've reached the end of my door and these are designed to be cut however long you need them to be. So as you'll see at the little copper marks, there's a pair of scissors. We're gonna take our pair of scissors and we're gonna trim it to what we need. All right, now that our LEDs are installed, we're gonna go ahead and connect the wiring harness to the LEDs themselves. We're gonna take these white clips that we were given and our white zip ties. We're gonna take the connectors like this. We're gonna figure out a place, stick it to the wall, take our zip tie and secure it into place. For this next step, we're gonna open up our garage door all the way. We're gonna get on our step ladder. We're gonna use, this is our track bracket and this U-shaped one is the door bracket. We're gonna set this on our track right here. So if you need to adjust the up and down height, there's two screws right here with wing nuts on the back. You're gonna to wanna to loosen those and then you can slide this bracket up and down to meet the door contact where it needs to meet. Really what I'm gonna do first is take off this wing nut because we're gonna drill a hole where this bolt is, so that'll be our guide hole. So this screw at the top is gonna use to lightly hold this in place. I'm just giving it to get a hand turn so it'll stay. There we go. And the idea is to set this door bracket on our garage door. So I'm gonna slide the track bracket back. I'm gonna set this on the door where I want it. I'm gonna slide the track bracket in. I'm gonna keep going until I can feel there's little springs in these contact points and these are what complete the circuit and turn the light on when the door opens. So we really wanna make sure that these are secure. 
So I'm going to give mine a little push. There we go. I have my handy wrench. All right, so now those are both in place. I can feel the contacts compressed. I'm going to take my Sharpie. I'm going to mark these out where I'm going to drill my pilot holes and secure these in place. So our door bracket is installed. Went ahead and backed my door out a little bit. You can see here's my mark. I'm gonna take my quarter inch drill bit. We're gonna put a hole right here for the track bracket. So now that our bolt is through, we're gonna take our wrench and we're gonna tighten this top screw to the track. All right, we've got a nice secure track bracket. So let's go ahead and run our door back up and we're gonna do it a few times. So as you can see, I'm doing this the final time. We have contact. The next step, we're gonna mount our power source. Now you wanna to remember to keep this close enough to an outlet so you can plug it in either on a wall or directly on your overhead garage door opener. And you wanna keep it also close enough to your track bracket because this gray wire is gonna to run to our track bracket. So for me, my outlet's up here and my track bracket's down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this off. And remember, do not plug this in until the very end. So keep this black plug out of the wall. And we're gonna go ahead and mark these holes and drill some pilot holes and get this mounted. All right, now that our power supply is mounted, do not plug it in yet. We're gonna do that at a later step. Now we're back to the wiring harness and we're gonna connect the black and red pieces to our door contact. So we're gonna simply push these contact points in and you'll see a screw, a brass screw stick down and you're gonna just go ahead and slide these right in. Might take a little, there we go. They should just bite right on. And as you'll see, we have this little bit of excess wire here. We're gonna take our couple of our zip ties couple of our white clips and we're going to go ahead and clean this up. So with the door closed still, our power source is still unplugged. We're going to connect the gray wire from the power source. We're going to connect it to the back of our track bracket. We're going to want to make sure to line up the colors the same as we did. So I had red on the left, so I'm going to put my red wire right back on the left. I'm gonna put my black on the right. We plugged in our power supply. Now it's time to test it. That's it. Thanks for watching and please hit subscribe for more educational content.